Good afternoon, learners. How are you? How are you this afternoon? Fine. Also, teacher Scholastica is fine. This is teacher Scholastica from Fountain School. I've come now with CTS. Okay? It's time for CTS. Who can remember what we learned last time in CTS? Who can remember? Yes? Safety in a workshop. Very good. Safety in a workshop. A clap and a click for our friends. Wow. So, we learned about safety in a workshop. What is safety? What is safety? What did we say? Safety is being free from danger. Safety is being free from danger. Very good. And what is a workshop? A workshop is a place or a room where things are made and fixed. Things are made and fixed. Very good. That is a workshop. So we learned about it. safety in a workshop where we said you are supposed to be safe in a workshop by following the safety rules. Okay. Now this time it's time for another topic. Today's topic is safety in a computer lab. Safety in a computer lab. Can we read it through? Safety in a computer lab. Again, safety in a computer lab. Yes. Uh, we are talking about the same safety where we said safety is being free from danger. Now this time we want to be free from danger in a computer lab. What is a computer lab or a computer laboratory? What is a computer lab or a computer laboratory? So, we say we are talking about a computer lab. We are talking about a computer lab. What is a computer lab? What is a computer lab? Yes, a computer lab is a room where computers are operated, computers are maintained and also are kept. Let me write this definition. We say a computer lab, a computer lab is a room, is a room where, is a room where computers, where computers are kept, operated, and maintained. So you are supposed to know this, okay? You are supposed to know this definition for a computer lab. So, let's read this room. A computer lab is a room where computers are kept, operated, and maintained. This is a computer lab. Now, I want you to tell me the things that are found in a computer lab. Remember last time I took you in the computer lab? What did you see from there? Yes, what did you see? Computers. Very good. So, in a computer lab you will find the computers. Computers. What else? Adapters. Very good. We will see adapters. So, in a computer lab, you find adapters. You find adapters. What else? What else? And in the computer lab, there's what? The mouse. Okay. The mouse. The mouse. What else? Chairs. Very good. Chairs, where you see it when you are operating the computers. So, in a computer lab, you find even if the chairs are there. What else? The switch. Okay. So, even the switch is there because computers use uh, electricity. 
Okay? So, switch, the switch is supposed to be there. That's why they are even in adapters. That's why they are even in adapters. And there are chairs where you are supposed to sit when you are waiting on the computer. Okay? Now, remember we are saying safety in a computer lab. Safety in a computer lab. How can you observe safety in a computer lab? What are you supposed to do for you to be safe when you are in the computer lab? Yes? Observe safety rules. Very good. The first thing you are supposed to do is to observe safety rules. You are supposed to be observing safety rules. Because in the computer there are rules. So you are supposed to observe safety rules. Now, which ones are these safety rules? Which ones are these the safety rules? Uh-huh. At what? You are not supposed to go with the drinks and the food in the computer lab. So we we'll say, do not drink and eat in the computer lab. Okay? We we'll say, do not eat and drink. Do not eat and drink in the computer lab or in the lab, which is in the laboratory. You are not supposed to drink or eat. That's why you said do not go with the food. So when you are going in the computer lab to work with computers, you are not supposed to carry any drink, even water. You are not supposed to go with food because those things will make you to destroy what? The computer. So you are not supposed to do that. Also, the other one we are talking about observing the safety rules. You are not supposed to touch or switch on the computer without the concern of the teacher. Okay? So do not touch or switch on the computer without the teacher. Those are the rules. Do not, do not touch or switch on Do not touch or switch on the computer without the teacher, without the teacher. Uh -huh. Very good. So, you are not supposed to switch on the computer without the consent of the teacher. You are supposed to wait for the teacher to tell you what to do, okay? When you go in the computer lab, you are supposed to wait for the teacher to tell you what you are supposed to do. Not just to enter there, you even start touching and operating the computers. No, you may you damage the computers. Okay? You are supposed to wait for the teacher to direct you. The other thing is when you finish operating or working on the computer, you are supposed to cover them to, to protect them or prevent the dust from entering into the computer, okay? So always when you finish working on the computer, you are supposed to get a clean cloth and cover the computers because the dust also damage the computers. So to keep the computers uh, to last long, you are supposed to cover them nicely with a clean cloth. Is it clear? Okay, so remember we are talking about safety in the computer lab. I want you to see what is happening to your friend here. This friend of yours is where? In the computer lab. Is in the computer lab. I want you to tell me what you are able to see from this. I want you to see what you are able to see 
from this. Observe the picture. Observe the picture nicely so that you tell me what is happening. Me, I don't know what is happening here. Now, I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. Have you seen your friend here? Can you look very carefully on the table? This friend of yours is in operating the computer. Is it the computer laboratory? Now, in this computer laboratory, uh, they have switched on the computer. And if you check on the table very carefully where the computer is, do you see a pot of juice here? No? Do you see food here? There is no food. So, you are not supposed to go with the food or drink in the computer lab. Okay? So, this one, the table is looking very clean. There is just a keyboard there, there is a mouse, and there is it. Just the computer there, nothing else. Okay? So you are supposed to keep the computer uh, very safe for you also to be safe. Which is you are supposed to observe the safety rules. Even here they are saying observe the safety rules. Observe the safety rules. Number two, do not drink and eat in the lab. Do not drink and eat in the lab. You are not supposed to drink and eat in the computer lab. Okay? The other one is saying do not touch or switch on the computer without the teacher. So these are safety rules. These are the safety rules that you are supposed to follow when you are in a computer laboratory. Is it clear? Okay. So now, Remember, today we have learned about it, safety in the computer lab. Safety in the computer lab. Where we have said a computer lab is a room where computers are kept, operated, and maintained. This is the computer lab. Because in a computer lab, you find computers there, they keep computers there, then they also operate the computers from there and they maintain them from the same room. Then we said the things that are found in the computer lab, they are computers, adapters, mouse, chairs, and the switch. There are a lot of things there, but this is it, the ones we were able to remember, okay? So now what you are going to do, I will give you an exercise. I'll give you an exercise from the same things you have learned today. Now, for you to write, what you only write what I'll tell you. You write the date. Remember, always you're supposed to start with what? The date. So you write the date, uh, Thursday, 29th July, 2021. Then you write the topic here, safety in the computer lab. Copy short notes that we have learned about the computer lab. Then you write now the exercise which is here. The exercise for today is saying answer the following questions. Answer the following questions. So you are supposed to answer the following questions that the teacher has given you here. Question one. A place where computers are kept, operated, and maintained is called dash. I don't know. I want you to do what it to write the answer. Question one, I'll read again. Listen. Can you love yourselves? Love yourselves and listen to me. Question one, a place where computers are kept, operated, and maintained is called dash. You write the correct answer here. Okay? Question two. Draw a safe computer laboratory. Draw a safe computer laboratory. So you draw a safe computer laboratory like this one. Where things are well maintained. Things are well put. Computers are on the table nicely without anything to destroy what the computers. 
Is it clear? Yes. So you are going to write just this. Then write this exercise. The one who will draw nicely, I will give him something. I have something to give you. Is it clear? Write very nicely. Then when you finish writing, you put up your hand. I will come and check. Okay? So this was teacher Scholastica teaching CTS from Fountain School. Bye.